Hi, so I'm just going to add a Google form to a website. So I'm in Google Documents or Google Drive and I'm going to go Create and it's Form. And I'm going to call it, I'll just call it uh, Favourite uh, favorite Sports. Favourite Sport. And we're just going to have one question for this one. And so it's What is your favorite sport favorite sport question mark and and you can put a little bit of help text there but the question type what we're going to do we're just going to choose um, choose from a list we'll go with that one choose from a list so number one uh, let's go hockey hockey press center uh, football swimming and um, running we'll do one more and uh, what should we have swimming and ooh, hockey oh we've had hockey let's have uh, archery okay and we're going to go down okay at the top here and go up to theme I can choose a theme so I'm just going to choose one quickly. This one will do. Okay, and that's what it will look like once it's embedded. So I click apply, and that is now embedded. So, and it's been saved already. Now, what I can do is go up to more actions and get the embed code from here. Copy that. So, copy. Right, I'm going to go to a Google site. I'm just going to choose this one quickly. And once I'm on Google site, I'm going to add a new page. I'll just call it form for now. And it's going to be a web page, and I'm going to create that. Right, so I'm now on the form page. I'm now going to go up here and click on HTML, because I've copied that embedding code. So just delete that, and then paste in the embedding code and say update and then save. Now the form that we have just created will now be embedded on this web page. Okay. Likewise, I um, just go to a wiki spaces again we can go pages and I'll add a page. Again I'll call it form and create that page and on a wiki spaces you will go to widget and other and embed the form onto a wiki page. Now the wiki page doesn't use the full width of the screen so I'll just see whether or not this form actually fits in and it does so that's there as well. So you could embed the form there. The children then get the, um, will then fill in the information so I'm going to now go what's your favorite sport? I'm just going to randomly choose a few, submit, submit another one uh, this time I go swimming, submit, and submit another question. Now I've noticed I've got this sample question too. If I go back to the form and cancel that, I've got it down here. What I need to do there is click bin that, delete that second question. So I've still only got the first question. Save that, and because it's saved, any place where I have embedded it, for instance, if I go to the here and just click refresh, that should now update. Yep, that's now disappeared. And the same on the wiki spaces. If I click refresh, the form, that is the edited form, will also update. So we'll carry on. I'm going to choose a few more. And you can get the children to get a whole class to log on and submit, uh, complete the form and submit it. We'll do one more. And football and submit. Okay, what you can now do is go back to the form and you can go see responses. And if I go to my drive, there's the favourite sport. I can always open it up there and it will open it up as a, you will see it as a spreadsheet. These are the ones that I've, I have just clicked in and these are the responses that I've given you. So just going back to 
I'm on my drive, I'm clicking on the favourite sports spreadsheet and I've now added a few more responses on it and I'm just going to click here and just make the text a little bit bigger so you can see a little bit better, we'll just go to 12 so we can see a bit easier what we're doing, we'll just widen that so we can see so these are the responses that we've got so far OK, I'm just going to delete this column because I don't really need to know that Right, I just want to show the formula that you could put down here if you wanted to add up the number of responses that you've got. You can add an equals and it's count if. So it's C O U N T, count if. And then it's open the bracket and I'm just going to select the range, which is there. You then put a comma and in inverted commas what is it you want to count so I'm just going to put swimming in there swimming exactly whoops spell it exactly the same way as you have done in your list and then close the bracket and when I press enter it should yep it's counted the numbers of swimming so we could do exactly the same for one for here and formula I'd put in there obviously to add up all the other different things. You can still go up to the word form so I can still edit the form by going back to my form there and I can add further questions by clicking add item. I can add further questions and using different checkboxes and things. I can change the theme here. Just quickly show you how quickly it is, easy it is to change the theme. Just grab this one and apply that theme. Anything that is altered uh, will be changed in the um, on your website or any other place where it's embedded so let's see that should have now been changed yep there we go same for the wiki spaces we'll just press refresh and again it should have altered the form there so it's very easy to quickly alter the appearance of the form yeah.